collaboration, through partnership, and through just being good people to one another, we're able to be here today. And a lot of that hard work is shown through the friendship, the partnership, and the collaboration we have with the city of Marinette. So we're very honored this afternoon to have Mayor Jenison with us. So I'd like to call him up to the podium as well. A big round of applause, if you would, please. We certainly celebrate this park as an important recreational site for Marinette and the community as a whole. Um, but it also is a very important cultural and historic um, uh, site, uh, certainly at the mouth of the river and for, for what that means to the Menominee tribe. And, and I think uh, part of our discussions are trying to understand what that importance is and, you know, by representing the Manikani on one side and the, the uh, native tongue on the opposite side of this pavilion is just one thing that we try to uh, bring into this uh, development and show uh, what it means uh, to the Menominee Nation. Um, the access to the river, as we've heard, uh, you know, has, has been important, important for decades, and uh, certainly the harbor you see today has gone through many, many changes uh, and has transformed into a, a thriving uh, a harbor and certainly, uh, uh, you know, gives us access to the bay. And uh, many have worked uh, uh, to restore this, and I know we've got uh, Keith West and some of your group, Keith, and he's in our Harbor Commission chair now, and you've worked for years to uh, you know, get this harbor cleaned up and, and a lot of efforts there. Uh, but over 40 years, and uh, just a little bit of history, uh, back in 1983 is when we first started planning for uh, improving this harbor, and then in 2004 is when we actually came up with a, a master plan for this harbor. Uh, by, uh, again, 10 years later, so a long time, uh, 2014, the dredging of this harbor began. Uh, we added, obviously, what we have here, the uh, seawalls, the, uh, the different dockage and, and uh, launches, the pavilions, and, uh, you know, it certainly came after that, but the dredging began uh, almost 10 years after the master plan was created. In 2017 is when the, uh, officially the city completed and had a ribbon cutting here. And, uh, you know, with great effort from the uh, state of uh, Wisconsin and uh, federal funds, almost $10 million went into this project. And uh, certainly uh, that could have happened uh, without a lot of uh, collaboration. Uh, uh, fast forward, and uh, in 2017, the Menominee Area of Concern was taken off the critical list. And uh, in 2020, it was officially delisted as, uh, you know, an area of concern for the EPA. And, and uh, that, again, Keith can tell you after uh, the ceremony here, that's 30 plus years in the making. I think, Trig, uh, you worked on that as well. And uh, certainly a great accomplishment. Um, as part of the many changes, uh, I do want to call to attention, uh, again, it, it's, it's hard to uh, sometimes understand the history, and a lot of us forget about history. And I think with uh, uh, Ken Keller and his uh, work with the Monami Nation, uh, kind of made us recognize uh, what some of that history was and uh, how we can, I always say appropriately, I think we ask a lot of questions because we would like to uh, represent your history and ancestry here and uh, uh, do it the right way. So a lot of those conversations took uh, uh, much work and uh, certainly trying to recognize the significance of, of the uh, Monami Nation in the mouth of the river. You know, we're, we're very fortunate here today at Mindy Kani may always seek to me to have so many of our relatives that have come that have gathered to participate in the official dedication of Machikinamau for the great bear and the sturgeon we see here. So the next one I would like to call up to the podium is the current chairwoman of our nation. She is our spokesperson. She is our leader. She is our queen. Chairwoman Kat Kat, if you would. Hello, relatives and everyone here today. My name is Gina Kat Kat, and I am the chairwoman of the Menominee Nation. I want to first say my wanted. Thank you to our Black Water Creek drum, our Menominee veterans, Nakwa for the prayer, 
Mayor Genesat for that welcome, and Kachika for that introduction. As a member of the Bear Clan of the Menominee Nation, it is my honor to be here today on our ancestral homeland where our creation story begins. It is here where our place of origin takes place at the mouth of the Menominee River, where five clans of the Menominee were created and included our relatives, the Owasa, Bear, Kane, Eagle, Moa, Wolf, Moose, Moose, and Otachia, Crane. And we, the Omatnamanewa, the people of the wild rice, continue to live on our ancestral land that was granted by Machuato, the creator. It is a great honor to stand here and say, on behalf of the Menominee Tribal Legislature and the Menominee people, I wish to welcome each of you to our place of origin. This is the place of our creation. Not far from here, this Machuasa, Machuasa great bear, rose out of the water and became the first Menominee. He stands here today as a symbol of our creation and a recognition of the importance of our past. The Menominee Nation is proud to be a partner with the people and city of Marinette, as well as with the state of Wisconsin, Governor Evers and his administration to help protect and restore this area so that future generations can not only learn and understand our story, but to also enjoy the land. I also like to take this opportunity to thank and applaud the city of Marinette for the work they have done at restoring this harbor to the shape that it is now today. A special thank you to Ken Keller for your advocacy and support to see this project through. This ongoing restoration effort is setting the stage for future projects to restore many of the native plants and habitats that existed here for generations, including our staple food, wild rice. There have been efforts by the tribe to plant wild rice in the Minikani Harbor. At one time, it was full of wild rice, but the dam has had a major effect on that attempt as well as chemicals and manufacturing, also playing a part in the restoration efforts. We will continue to work in partnership with the city so wild rice will stay in the harbor for the future. This place and the wild rice are still the center of our Menominee culture and spirituality. Our oral history states that where the Menominee went, the wild rice would follow and flourish. We hope to one day be able to see abundant sources of wild rice and fresh game that sustain us in the healthy way as our creator intended. My family stops here frequently. Today, I have my son Louis and my daughter Daisy here with me. We are very blessed to be able to visit our place of origin our present home is located 60 miles south of here, and we are happy to host visitors and share some of our cultural history with you. Now we're very honored as we get started with our last piece of our dedication here today to have a, a, a very close friend of ours, uh, not just our tribe in Menominee, but our current governor has taken the time to create and foster real relationships with not just us as Omatnumanewak, the Menominee, but all of our indigenous relatives here in our great state. And so we're very honored today that the governor has taken time to come up here to Marinette and share in this beautiful celebration. So we're very honored to ask Governor Ebers Akdwan if he would come on up and share some words. Uh, Joey and for the introduction and 
It's a pleasure to be here today to celebrate this really important event, the dedication of Metacawney Harbor to the Menominee Nation. I want to thank Menominee leaders for the invitation and the opportunity to join all of you today, as well as obviously we are genocide to everybody from the city of Marinette for recognizing the importance of this, uh, important of this day. So you think about this. We are standing on the very shores represented in the Menominee creation story. I know a lot of hard work has gone into bringing this harbor and this Menominee River into a new age of restoration, preservation, and use. So it's an honor today to be, uh, to be here to help realize this next step in a long history of this land. As governor, building strong relationships with Native nations and respecting tribal sovereignty, culture, and history is one of the most important parts of my job, and that's why I am here today. I've made strengthening our intergovernmental relationships and building bonds on a mutual respect and understanding a cornerstone of, and priority of my administration. And it's great to see that same commitment to respect and partnership on display here today. Today's dedication of the Menominee Harbor and the Menominee Nation is important not only to the Menominee creation story, but it's also important to the history and the community and our state's history as a whole. Today we're celebrating the rich culture, language, and traditions of the Menominee Nation that have been deeply rooted in the history of this area long before Wisconsin became a state. The contributions of the Menominee Nation as they, that they have made to our state and country are countless and the services you provide to your community and surrounding communities have been making Wisconsin a better place for 200 years or more. And with today's dedication, we continue to acknowledge that fact. My commitment has been to ensure that the experiences and the, and the perspectives of Native people are always included and respected at, in our work as a state and local levels. Our state wouldn't be what we are today without the Native nations, and our future will surely be brighter if we're working together. Because the history of the Menominee Nation is the history of Wisconsin. And events like today are an important part of preserving and, and uplifting the indigenous histories and ensuring they, make, they remain central to our shared cultural narrative. So with that, I want to recognize everybody that played a part in, in doing this important dedication. I'm confident that it will stand as a bright moment in, in your history, the history of this region for years to come. So thanks so much, everybody. Thank you for inviting me, and it's, it's an honor to be here. Thank you.